Hello, and welcome to the video of today, except that it's probably not today when you're going to be watching this video. So, today, or a couple days ago, I built this model. I think it's a pretty cool little airplane garage here thingy. It's got a little opening door, a little fence for some kind of military compound. And, to go with it, I built this little tank. A little micro tank. It's kind of cartoony, not exactly looking like a natural tank. I had a bunch of problem with the, problems with this door. If the hangar's too tall, it looked really awkward. But if it's too short, the tank just doesn't fit in. It actually got really frustrating going close. It's just stuck on the stud here, if you can see. So, anyway, I've been having a bunch of trouble with that, and then I had the great idea to just have this pop off. So I made the little tank garage in here, decorated very, very minimally on the inside. This is just empty on the top. It's got a little door that opens up. Wit, and yeah. Then I had the special base plate base piece with holes on the sides and basically just empty piece mainly meant, meant for connecting so it's kind of micro modular build so I'm going to start a series of micro builds today's is this little hanger thingy and it's tank let's get started I'll show you how to build the tank and then give you a little time lapse of me building this thing so here are the pieces we're going to need for this little tank basically we've got two jumper plates two normal plates two one by two flat plates sorry two 1x3 tiles, and I've got these little 1x1 tiles, three 1x1 plates. I will say there's two of these in gray, one of these is in clear, it's probably tricky to see. But I didn't care to find another gray one, I had gotten bored of finding the first two, so I'm just using a clear one because you're not going to be able to see it at all at the end of the tank. Then we've got six of these little studs things, these are going to be used for the wheels, we've got seven of these cap things are basically just like flat studs and those are going to be used partly for the wheels and the ones on the end of the cannon. We've got a Travis brick here, one of those bricks with studs on all the sides and except for the bottom. And then we've got the radar dish piece, this is going to be the top of the turret. I've got this for the barrel, it's going to be capped off by one of those. And then we've got this weird camera piece. I like to call it a camera because it looks like some kind of recording camera and that's what they use it a lot for. So yeah, this camera piece has got studs on the sides, top, front, and this weird hole at the back and on the bottom. Then the tracks are made of these slim wheels, which are just stretched and put over the three studs, which makes a really nice tire track. So let's get building. Okay, so to start building our tank, we're gonna want to take these one by three tiles. Then we want to take one of the studs and one of the stud caps, put them on top of each other, and then put them on one of the studs. I'm going to do that for all three studs on this thing. So here I've got two more. One goes there, one goes there. We need to do this twice. One's for each track of the tank. Then we need to take our little camera brick weird piece thingy, put it straight in the middle with its hole on one side and its stud on the other. We can go ahead and take our two one by two tiles, put them on the front with the stud so they look like that. Then we need to take one of our one by one gray tiles, put that on the very back. And another one, our last one by one gray one, I've got a clear one, you can have a third gray one if you've got one. Put it right in the middle there. So this is what our main tank body looks like. Then I'm going to take these tires that I've got and stretch them right over. This is going to make the treads. I'm going to squish it on. Squeeze and squish and squash. There we go, tank treads. Then we've got our tank turret to do. So put that to the side. We've got our I'm gonna call it a Travis Brick, it's a Travis Brick. Put one of these jumper plates on each side. Now front and back, got one where we use the white, the clear tile, sorry, not white. When we put this barrel, this is gonna be the barrel of the gun. Then we take our three tiles, put one in each spot in the jumper plates in the back, that clear tile. Then we can take this little cap piece, put it on the front. And there we go, that's the main part of the turret. And then all we need to do is add the radar dish to the top. And that hides the clear piece entirely, gives us a, a little turret. And to finish this off, we just take this, and snap those two together on that stud. There we go, micro tank. Now for this, it's fairly simple, just bricks, plates. We've got the, one of those weird stud ones where it makes it really easy to take off and attach. So for this, I'm just gonna take it up all apart and give you time lapse instead. As my last time lapse turned out really well, I'm not giving instructions, and hopefully you'll be able to piece it together yourself, because this is really pretty easy. Also, these are just random. I might get them wrong in time lapse the second time I build it. And they're just random. So, randomized random pieces of randomness. I just put them where I thought it looked what kind of empty. I could probably use one there. 
you on there. I want to leave this kind of open though for the tank, so it looks like it could roll in and out. Also, one note, I use this as a line where the door is, kind of like a place for the door to connect to as it swings down. This is supposed to be a garage door, by the way, but I don't have any garage doors that small. Then these two are tire track, two dark areas are tire tracks from the tank. The tank is approximately four studs wide. I'll probably make a bunker for it that's just four studs wide, and maybe four studs long. I'm not sure exactly how that well that would work out. But then I made mine six wide and six long because that was just bigger. More space is nice. Then I've got all these little pipes and randomy things that go around on the inside. That's just the inside of the hangar. Okay, I'll give you a time lapse now. Hello, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is one of my favorite types of ways to build because it's got this modular platform which means you can add things like this. So, I'd like to continue this military compound kind of thing and I've got an idea for the next one but I'm having a lot of hard, a hard time with it. So, let me know if you have any ideas on what I should build next and I'll see you in the next video which will be next. It may not be on this micro scale but it'll still be the next video. See you then.